the present video solution uh, is for the gate uh, 2013 problem of two marks and uh, it is the last problem in the set of problems on uh, memories. We will read out the problem first and then uh, give the solution. There are four chips each of 1024 bytes connected a 16 bit address bus as shown in the figure below RAM 1, 2, 3 and 4 respectively are mapped to address actually there are four RAM chips and uh, they are connected uh, to a 16 bit address bus and uh, we have to find out uh, what are the corresponding address uh, uh, assignments to these uh, RAM chips. So there are four options here since there are four uh, RAM chips there are four address locations uh, for each option. Okay so we'll see the corresponding figure that what is the figure and then we'll try to uh, give the solution to that. See here you can uh, I think see uh, this uh, is RAM 1, so RAM 2, RAM 3 and RAM 4. These are the four random access memories which are to be interfaced and they have memory locations of 1024 bytes and these RAMs are connected to 8-bit uh, data bus. This data bus is <coughs> shown here, there is a 8-bit data bus to which they are connected. Okay. Now, uh, if we look down to this circuit, uh, what we observe here is uh, the address lines from A0 to A9 are being used for the address decoding with all the chips. Okay, so they are going to all the RAM chips and then from A10 to A15 are used through this AND gate and the corresponding decoder circuit. Okay, so we will see that uh, uh, what is the circuit arrangement uh, so indicates that uh, there are four RAMs of 1024 bytes address bus is 16 bits and uh, data is 8 bit and uh, we have to find the addresses for each RAM address ranges and uh, if you notice here the enable input E is going to each RAM and this enable input is active high that means the chip would be selected when this uh, goes high and uh, this comes from the uh, decoder and this decoder you can see here uh, these inputs like A10, A11, A12, A13, A14 and 15 are the inputs to this AND gates. Here all are not inputs like A12 uh, and A13 these are S1 and S0 and uh, but these are the four inputs like A10, A11, a14 and 15 these are the inputs to the AND gate and uh, for the chip selection we need uh, one uh, at the output so this AND gate uh, all the inputs have to be one then only we'll get uh, one output at the AND gate okay so this S1 and S0 are select signal and uh, these are zero 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 one one zero one one that means the RAM chips are con connected alternately like uh, RAM 1 when it is selected the output is zero zero and whatever is the input here it comes to this port here similarly when the second chip is to be connected whatever is here will come to the uh, second RAM and so on so sequentially these RAMs would be selected and you can notice here that A10 has an inverter 
here. So correspondingly, we have to see what should be the corresponding input here to make it one at the output, so that at the input of the AND gate, uh, it is one only. Okay. So uh, let us consider the RAM one. Uh, it's selected for the decoder output uh, of zero zero that we have already seen this. Uh, this zero zero output will select this uh, RAM, and uh, we know that A ten would be zero, A eleven is one uh, for this, and A fourteen and A fifteen. A fourteen, A fifteen, they would be A fifteen would be zero zero to make it one. So these are the uh, various options here, and uh, we'll see uh, what are the corresponding address locations here. So uh, this we have said A fifteen zero 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 A twelve zero A eleven A eleven input is one A ten and all this are the address locations. So the corresponding address locations uh, here are starting from A nine to A0 are the address locations which are used separately for decoding. So the starting address would be the lowest address, thus all bits would be 0 and the highest address would be when all these address bits are taken as 1, 1, 1, 1 here. Okay. So address range here comes out to be 0, 08, 0, 0, hex to 0, b FF. This is the address range, and this address range uh, corresponds to uh, the chip. Uh, you can notice here this corresponds to D option here. The first range of addresses here. So uh, the other options do not have this as address location. This address location. So you can um, uh, take the option D, but if you want to further verify that whether uh, the second option as given in the option D or second uh, memory uh, decoding whatever given in option B whether it's correct or not you can confirm it uh, by the second calculation and then you can decide that uh, option D is the right choice for this uh, problem.